All right, when I say I've got a lot to do today, I fully mean it, so let's do it. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke. I am an eBay reseller. I sell out of this garage. So if you're new to the channel, this is what I do. I sell Funko Pops, vintage clothes, everything under the sun online to make a profit, hopefully, so we can keep living, keep feeding ourselves. That's what I do. So we are back with a day in the life. Literally, it's Monday morning, 15th of May. It's my dad's birthday. So everyone comment down below, happy birthday to my dad. Me and Charlotte just got back from Ibiza. We've been there for 10 days. So literally got back Saturday afternoon and was at a car boot Sunday morning. And now we're here on Monday with lots to do. We had a great time though. It was a good break. And uh, yeah, we're just raring to go now. Without further ado though, I've got like 35 orders since being on holiday mode to get picked and get packed this morning. Get them out the door. It's about nine o'clock. So hopefully get them done this morning. And then we can get out in some charity shops later, find some good stuff, because we've not been out for 10 days. You know, like yesterday at the car boot was just great. I've not been to a car boot for two weeks. So yeah, exciting times. But um, yeah, we've got an absolute age of stock to be listing as well. So it's just non-stop today, non-non-stop. This is the state of the garage at the minute. All of these got photographed before we went abroad. So when I was abroad, I was listing five a day. So they should all be technically listed now. Got some new boxes coming from eBay. This is new car boot stock that's come in. All of this, it's just a little bit chaos at the minute. So I just need to get tidy. We'll get picking, we'll get packing. 35 orders or so, just over a grand's worth, something like that. And um, yeah, looking forward to the day. I've got to get tidy as well because I've actually got some special guests coming to the garage tomorrow. Um, you'll see that in a future video. But um, yeah, I've got to make this place look spick and spam because we've got some royalty coming. So with the pops, I've had a lot of subscribers ask about certain pops. So I'm going to be getting that done. Maybe not today, but in the week, we're going to try and cipher, you know, who wants what. And then a lot of them are going to be able to send up to Amazon as well. So this will be nice and clear. They'll tick along nicely on Amazon. So this space can be filled with other stock. I think that's the best way of doing it. Some we'll keep for eBay, you know, I might have a shelf full. But a nice chunk of them we will send to Amazon. If it's worth it, of course. Same with these Schleck figures as well that we got from the car boot yesterday. I've just been ungated on Amazon for Schleck. So these are selling on Amazon for about £38 a piece. So I can send them in, give them a scan, send them in. And then they won't need to be stored in the garage, which is really, really handy. Just because it's a little bit crazy in here right now. So the more stuff we can send off, the better. Because eBay's absolutely brimming, full of stock, ready to go. And then Amazon's just starting up. So the more we can get out there, the better at the minute. These hats came from Mystery Parcels. A lot of this Mystery Parcel stuff, we normally give it away or send it back to charity. So this is the charity pile at the minute. We're going to do a big, big clear out in a bit. The scale of this Schleck hole is pretty big though, because you think we've got, that one's like 30. We've got three of these big ones, which were like 40, 30, 40 quid. These with a few figures in, because they're brand new. Got a few of these individual little figures here. They're like nine pounds each. Um, five of those, I think. And then we've got all these little individuals, which are brand new in the bag. I've got the little sticker on. But in these, there's loads and loads of figures still. A lot of them still have the stickers on. 10, 12 in each bag. A couple of these box figures as well. One there, there's a couple up here. So 65 quid. I thought that was a real coup, to be fair, to get all those. This here, one bag, two bag three all in there four five seven six seven eight million bags that's all unlisted clothing unlisted clothing vacuum packed up there yeah we've got a lot to do that's all i'm saying we've got a lot to do but now until our next holiday it's like 15 weeks so i've literally got 14 15 weeks of just pure boom, 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 on it listing videos sourcing just bang at it and then obviously in the winter, we'll still have loads of stock left over as well. So like when the boot sales finish, it won't be too heavy on the, oh, we're out of stock because we've actually been stockpiling. I will be listing it all summer, but we'll be sourcing it at the same rate. So just one of them things. We're going to have a lot of stock for the winter. Also got mine, the Crocs and the MTV socks. This is the fit today. I am not a cop. Croc socks. Come on. Read that on holiday. Matthew McConaughey. Pay, what did I pay at the airport? 15 quid I paid for that. It was a good read though. I'm actually going to give this away in today's video. If there's any Matthew McConaughey fans who really want to read this book, leave a like, leave a comment on why you want to read it and then actually send it out to you. I was going to do that anyway. Um, it's a good read, really good read. It's not fully autobiography. It's kind of like some of his experiences and how he dealt with things. And you know what I mean, it's more like a bit more self-helpy, but it's, uh, it's real good. Got loads of these Score Draw England shirts coming as well. So different colours of those. Probably going to save them for the Euros, to be honest, next year. We got them at a good price, so there'll be ones that'll be staying around. Right, the job for now is try and get rid of this newly listed stock somewhere, hopefully. 
and then we can start getting our orders picked. Right, just in the process of sorting everything out, I've had so many people say, what the hell is that called? The Amazon box thingy-majig. If you type in on eBay, Amazon parcel box or something like that, or waterproof parcel box, this should come up. Um, they're used by Hermes, every drivers, Amazon drivers. There's loads in the back of the vans. So at the every parcel shops, they'll always have these because the van drivers give them to them. I've got one in my boot as well, which is from the parcel shop. This one I bought myself. So yeah, if you type in Amazon parcel bag, something like that, and it should come up. Right, we should be good now to pick orders. Getting picked, getting packed. Let's get out of this bloody garage, man. Um, first sale, Birkenstocks that I got from the lady. Uh, these were off of eBay, so I can't see your listing. Private sale, got £70 all in for those. I think from that last lot we spent 1100 on, we've made about half that back now. Freaking flying in, man. He's massive. Reminds me of that Breaking Bad episode, man. Right, so let's get to the good bit. Maybe not the good bit for me, but the good bit for you, you know. I have to pack it all. You just get to see it. I've already picked a couple of bits, which wasn't skewed up, so they were just lying about. We sold this Scooby and Shaggy. First pot of vinyls to go. Classic Scooby-Doo pops there as a little bundle for £29. Metal Slug 3 for £7.99. Just Dance 2016 for £12. So that is that one right there. And then that one was sealed for £12. MW2 on the PS4. Got that on the car boot before we went away for £3. That sold for £32. So nice one there. The code inside hasn't been used. So buzzing with that. You can check by putting the code in and then it'll say, do you want to redeem it? Obviously, I didn't redeem it. Put it back in the case and we can sell it with the code. Luigi's Mansion 2 for £9.99. There it is. And now if you're new to the channel, I've got my rail with listed stuff on. I've got all these boxes with listed stuff in. So on there, it'll say, oh, you sold this in box D. And then I'll open box D and then it'll be in there. So that makes it a little bit more simpler for us. So I will start with box R. We've got this Walking Dead figure. It is a zombie Roma. We've got $24.99 for that. So we've got box R here. And that is the zombie Roma in there. There he is. So box R is clear. We're going to pick orders from the rail now. So first one here so that's the first sale from the rail this is the fp movement jacket that we got from that big clothing bundle we sold this one it's got brand new with tags we sold this one for 99 pounds all in there is that one there printed fleece jacket 99 pounds happy with that got some good money back like i said from that bundle already with the birkenstocks we've actually sold those japanese sandals those ones there for 170 which have been delivered already uh they went to america so we have got some decent money back from there also from that bundle we sold these merry people wellingtons it actually says dispatch overdue i've been in contact with ebay that is a glitch so we can get that sorted if we get a defect a late defect we can get that sorted because everything else we don't have to dispatch till tomorrow so uh yeah 60 pound for those there they are lovely lovely that came from the bundle as well sort of a 60 pound back from that they retail for like 75 80 pounds so not much below retail on those back to the rail we've got this jaeger silk jacket for 25 pounds paid a couple of pounds in a charity shop for that one spot the silk one is it that one i think it is it's got a good few blazers on here but i think it is that one got a little laundry sheet in there make it smell fresh as anything but yeah pretty straightforward jaeger silk jacket brand there brand in there lovely so i've got a few bits of clothing which i listed while i was abroad so it hasn't actually been skewed up yet so i've just picked that it was literally just stuffed in that corner there so all three of those have sold we've got the team gb wetsuit we've got 30 quid for that that's that one there it's a little shorty one so it's not a full size one but uh 30 quid nonetheless paid three i think on the car boot great time of year to sell those if you see them pick them up and then we sold the joseph ribkoff little polka top there for 24.99 and this Fair Isle Antartex jumper for 21 at 24. So that was a little 15% discount. That is the jumper there. Paid a couple of quid for that. And then same with the Joseph Ribkoff. Paid a couple of quid for that. I think that one was a little Middleton pickup back in Manchester. Um, yeah, nice little brand there. So between those, you're talking what? Let me do the maths. £46 or something on them two items. Can I just say as well, big shout out to Sean, Gaz and Xavier. Just in between the madness of the sales. They sent me out a parcel to me and Charlotte as just a bit of a thank you so we appreciate that big time guys uh i'll just read out the note a little bit um it's quite touching we got it when we got home from holiday um they did say they was going to send something out not a mystery parcel or anything it was just kind of a thank you to us so it was super super nice so 
John Luke, we wanted to take the chance to thank you. Your channel has helped us massively in our reselling journey. Our six month old little boy loves watching your channel and it's thanks to you that I get the chance to spend all my time with him. We took all your advice on board and we are now reselling full time. We wouldn't be able to do it without your content. A massive thank you, Sean, Gaz and Xavier. And our eBay store is Sean's Bits and Bobs. Amazing. I'm going to keep this. I always keep the little notes. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. They actually sent a little present as well to me and Charlotte. So much love to you guys. I'm glad I can help. That's what I'm here for. You know, make some fun content. Hopefully help you as well. So I was really buzzing to receive that. Um, yeah, getting emotional. Anyway, she sent us a handmade key rack panda one. You know me and Charlotte love pandas. So it's like a proper wooden one. So that is going to go up in our next home. Our first home when we buy a house one day. Um, going to make a million pound first in this day and age. But um, yeah, how cool is that? Love it, love it, love it. And we're not done there. I've got Walking Dead figure, the governor. Look at that. There's a comic book version. And one better, we've got a beta as well. Love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy and get some out of the content. Anyway, big love to you guys. Back to the sales. Let's get it. So we're going to get stuck into M, N, L and K. So let's get stuck in. See what's sold in here. Right, so I do know these Rocket Raccoon comics have sold that is a bundle of four all nice condition on the cards we got eight pounds 49 for those also in m we sold these ladybird flash cards from the 1970s for 13.99 look at that 1977 two pound 88 it cost originally in that year so that's it for box m it's not much in here to be fair now so we could actually start putting some that new stuff in here so in box n we sold this willing multigrater paid a few quid for that i think we got 20 on that yeah 20 pound for that one and also in N, we sold this big bundle of Imaginext, uh, like dinosaurs, for £25.49. I do know that they are all in here. So it's all this stuff in here. I've sold a couple individually, but they just take so long, I just want to get rid of them. So again, a good space in N that we can fill up a little bit later. And then L is pretty much all the media, so I've sold a good few bits in here. I know that I sold this Pippi Longstocking Collection DVD. Rare one, this. Definitely worth looking out for. Sold that one for £39.99. Sold within a couple of weeks, so... Yeah, look out for that big yellow box set. Also in L, we sold Quake 4 for 40 99 and Rock Band Song Pack for £13 there. That one there, and that one there. Nice, easy large letters then. Happy days. So that's all those done. Now we can work our way down from O down to F, and then E to A, and then we can get them packed as quick as we can. So pretty sure there's nothing sold from O. That's kind of like board games and bits and bobs in there. A lot of these are quite empty now, to be fair. So a lot of this stuff that looked overwhelming before will slot in here nicely and it'll look a lot better. Before we do these, though, I've got a few pairs of uh, shoes that we can get out to switch it up a little bit. We've got these North Face boots, sold them for £80. So that came from that bundle again that, um, that I mentioned before with the sandals and the jackets and stuff like that. So all good on that regard. And then we sold a pair of Nike TNs from the lot before for 120. So awesome stuff. So 120 for those to Japan. And then 80 quid for these Gore-Tex ones. This one was on the shelf as well. 30 quid for the DVD recorder. This is like one of the low-end ones. I did actually pick three of these up all at once. And then this one was just the lowest one. The other two sold for well over 100. So just clearing old stock with this one. Just having a little snack in between work. And we're watching a little bit of the Legend Masterpieces. Well, we'll just click that button there so in box j we've got a load of these star wars figures so we've got a couple of bundles that i've sold we've got this wave one collection with darth vader han solo and chewbacca for 44.99 and then 50 pound for the mandalorian set of seven so that's 95 pound back there there is those three legends we've actually already sold luke and leia i think and then maybe another one as well in box g we have sold this sloth mode snacks the sloth paid a few quid for him and we got 19.99 for him we have sold Mr. Scarecrow, £23 for him. We paid £3 on the car boot sale. And then also in F, we sold these For All Mankind jeans for £18. And that is those there. Pretty cool with the studs on. Yep. Did have a bit of a cock up. I sold this Jaeger skirt for £50. And that is in the H box. So we'll stack these back up. And on the way, we'll grab that skirt. So I aimed nice and high with this Jaeger skirt. Really nice, soft cotton cord skirt. Beautiful. Got 50 quid for it. In box E, we sold this Liverpool shirt, 2012-2013 home shirt. It's when they had Sterling, Sturridge and Suarez. Great couple of years for them it was. I think that is the one there. Size large. Yep. It's a nice shirt that reminds me of the City shirt from a similar time, the Umbra ones. Nice soft cotton. Just the one shirt out of E. We've got a shirt to get out of D, which is this Spain away shirt from 2017. 
player issue. We got £33 for that one. Thought I wasn't going to find it then, but we did. It was right at the bottom. Um, yeah, really, really nice shirt, that. In box C, we sold this Ben Sherman leather jacket. It's seen better days. It's got a few marks and stuff on it. Got 20 quid all in for that. Took an offer. Just wanted to get rid. It's a bit of a bulky one. Out of season now, so, you know what I mean? Just get rid. We paid like three, four quid for it anyway, so still some decent profit. We sold this women's F1 shirt, McLaren Mercedes, for 12 99 It's an XL women's, so it's like a proper big V-neck on it. Uh, paid a pound for that, 13 quid, so not too bad. Up the Mercedes boys, you know, Mercedes and McLaren. Pretty stinky year so far. Sold another pair of those socks for 7 99 Football ones, size 11 to 14 and a half. So let's have a look. 8 to 11 those. 8 to 11. 8 to 11. Any chance? Any chance? 11 to 14 and a half. There we go. So 8 quid for a pair of socks. Not too shabby. Last but not least in box A. It's another subscriber sale. I'm telling you, every time we get to box A, there's a subscriber sale. Don't know what it is, but there's something going on. But it was for this Walt Disney shirt for £10. It's been listed for an age because it's actually from the old. That photo was from about two summers ago. So it does say, Hi John, been a subscriber on your YouTube for a while now. You've inspired me to try out reselling and it's helped me and my partner renovate our new home. Even considering dropping down to three days a week at work in a year or so, which I never thought would be possible. I really appreciate your content, man. Keep it up. Cheers, Ethan. So yeah, appreciate that, Ethan. I'm glad I can help. I'm glad your home's looking spick and span. And yeah, appreciate the love. This Walt Disney shirt is coming to you. Whew. So that's all the orders picked, ready to go out. Just can't wait for him to be in the parcel shop and I'll just walk out. I'll feel like a ton lighter. Anyway, it's about 11 o'clock now, so I'm going to absolutely slam them. You know, I've not been to charity shops in about 12 days, man. <laughs> oh, my heart. And then we've got to do some listing. We've got to do some tidying because there's some special guests coming tomorrow. And I'm not ready for it. I am not ready for it. So much to do. Come on. Just gonna find your way through. Whew. Is that how you're feeling now, John? What? Sloth mode. I wish. I wish. So, like, when I'm packing, Charlotte's here now. She's woken up. It's one o'clock. <laughs> Joking. It is twelve. So I've done. I've done a lot of them. Yeah, you have. Um, I've not got many left. Anyway, I'm using Packlink now. Okay. Um, so I don't use parcel to go anymore. It just seems a bit. Pack link's like same, you use every. Yeah. Or whatever you want. But the cover just seems to work better. Like, I keep getting refunded for stuff. Where on parcel to go, you just. Must no close. You got no chance. No. Next one I need to pack. Subscribe. We're going to put them in a bag. Like this. We always put it in a plastic bag because it looks more professional. Keeps it. Keeps it fresh. Dry as well. Any leaks or anything. And it just looks a bit nicer. Because that's ninety nine pound, I'm gonna put it in a box. You know okay. I mean? I'm, that's not going in a mailing bag. Okay. Just, you know what I mean. They paid hundred quid. You at least give them a bit of cardboard. You know I mean? Thank you, sticker. Looks like your stylist. Nope. Uh, just don't care about people, do you? Fleece in there. Put it on the scales. One point two kilos. Bam. Put that in pack link. So I'll write that woman's name on the box, so I know whose sticker to put on it. She's called Ali. A4 Fally. So we are just doing the labels on all the addresses. So we ripped the name one earlier. Now we're matching it up to the labels. It's a bit windy. It's not efficient <laughs> out here, but... <laughs> Dude, you're trying our best. My printer's just, like, dying on me as well. So it prints out, like, ones that aren't full late. It's just messing me up. Yeah. So there's one. So this was the big backlog from holiday, so... We're getting there. So we've got a full one of them bags and then we've got a good few left over. We've only got one of those though, because that one's kind of used at the minute. So we're just leaving the parcel shop now. Key news, in, greatest shop in Plymouth. In Oriston. And we just dropped off like a million parcels the size of like Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and the guy's so chill. He loves it, he's like, bring him in. Yeah, bring him in, bring him in. So now we're off to... Um, Post office. Post office in Elton Village. Do our Royal Mail drop. And go to some of our favourite charity shops there. Yeah, first time in a charity shop for about 12 days. Not for me, I went yesterday. Well, Charlotte went to one yesterday. It was next to Old ER's doing our food shop. Um, but they've like tripled in price since we've been gone. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it. Yeah, they're out of touch. Some some charity shops are out of touch, aren't they, so? I just don't get how, like, before we went to um, Ibiza, the same clothes are in there. But they've got scribbles on instead of £12, they're now at £8. Yeah. Like three or four. In what world, well. do you know what I mean? 
as we like to say, get it in, get it out. Yeah. Get it in, get it out. Shake it all about. I'm actually so cold compared to Abby's running your jumper on. I'm red on me. Croc squad. Come on. Croc city. So Charlotte's just bought a handbag. I'm doing a Beatles box. We bought a snake. It's an IKEA snake. It's for our family. Right, so we picked up Snakey in the back. He's a jungle scog from IKEA, so you could resell him for about 15 to 20 pounds. Paid a pound for him. However, he is now part of the family. <laughs> Alright then. So got all this skewed up now, so the pops and bits and bobs that were out here have all been put away into boxes and been inputted onto eBay. We're going to do the little haul that we had from the charity shops now. Little micro haul, but still haul. Oh, we've got some good stuff. Um, and yeah, this is unlisted stock. This kind of used to be just, just kind of, you know, put somewhere. You know, this is unlisted, so maybe just keep keep climbing up there. <laughs> but we are going to put some overhead shelving in. So like some pieces of wood at the top of this kind of rack here, over here. So I can have overhead storage then, which will be very, very nice. Heart mess is the name, reselling's the game, gonna show a haul. So I've actually got the warmer light on today. Let me know if you prefer it. Sometimes we have the super, super bright. Going for the warm light today. Mm -hmm. Right, so we popped in a few shops. What did you get? You got this First handbag. It's a rattan beach bag, brand new tag. Bit of a small beach bag, you'd say. Evening bag. I like, I like them. I like them. Anyway, it's £35 in TK Maxx originally. I don't know who the designer is. I don't think it's a particular one. I paid five and it comes with a shoulder strap as well. We got a mug for a pound. Disney Paris. Nice one for us. It's just a small cup of tea, that. I like that. If you're a true tea There's drinker, a if you're a true tea drinker, you need various mugs for different sizes and occasions. You know, sometimes you yeah, need sometimes a... you need a quick, small shot of brew. Or I need a big pint to settle like down a big, with. Yeah. That's like a, you know, mid-afternoon, but evening, you want a tankard, don't you? Hmm. So, you paid a tenner for your lot, I paid 20 for my lot. This is a book that's going to be sent to Amazon. I'm going to get going with used books on Amazon. I want to try it out, test it out and Why see not? what's going on. So, on Amazon, the cheapest are like 40 quid. So, it might take 17 years to sell. <laughs> but I just, I just want to test it out, do you know what I mean? I just want to test it out and see what's going on. Got a few graphic novels, so I've got Sandman. Huh? Superman, The Man of Tomorrow. That second print. I think the first print's worth quite a bit, but... They're not worth too much these. The Sandman Season of Mists as well. A pair of Oxford Super Sliders with a Z. That's and smart. they are Kevlar enforced jeans, so they're for motorcycle jeans. They're really smart. Got knee pads inside. Like them. Um, there's a lot on eBay. So they sell for like 30 to 50 pounds. You like uh, them? Ke Kevlar jeans. Usually you're onto a winner because yeah. they're well they're well made. You can tell from a mile off how good the quality is. Yeah, just full of spiders, so they just need to be uh, a dusty. It'd be cleaned up. Ooh. Got a pair of white stuff cords, brand new with tax. Gin Slim is the uh, style code. 34 waist, 32 length, so pretty good size in there. And um, yeah, I'm not sure on the going rate. They probably resell at like 40 quid or something, I don't know. Um, so let's say we get like 25, 30 quid. Very Jobs nice. are good in there. Can't go wrong with a uh... nice pair of cords. Smells <laughs> <sighs> like money to me. <laughs> Got a few Charlie Higson novels for me. I think I've got five of these now. I think there's like six or seven. Um, so I'm actually reading these. Well, not starting <laughs> well, yet. Well, planning I've to. just bought them all. <laughs> uh, I'm planning to read these. So yeah. They were three for a pound. But, so yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So jobs are good. And we do not have time to read. Last night, we were asleep by 10.15. Yeah. And then as soon as you woke and up today, you're out of bed. Since I've been home, I've not even like had the chance to edit a video yet. I've got like three or four. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... So that's what? why I need someone to edit. I need did edit. The complete Ziri. This is a Dutch import of the Wandin line. I seen it and I thought that looks pretty cool. I'll grab it and it turns out good money. The later series, some of them are like 20 odd quid each. I think the full set you can get like 80 to 100 pound. Bolo! Which, which is like, yeah. I wouldn't give them a second look, John Luke. You so these the are BBC, media. but they're Dutch. You're the media king. So yeah, I'll, I'll list them probably in a full full set so unless there is a sealed one yeah because that's sealed it might be good for amazon and if that's the last one um oh actually wait you yeah there's, two, there's the two of the same yeah 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 so i don't think we've got a full set then what have we got four 
I know I do have a complete set and an extra one. So maybe that'll be good for Amazon, yeah, sealed up. It won't be a jungle look cool without a... Got a DVD recorder with the remote tested working. Uh, six quid it was, and you can get about 40 quid, 50 quid. So just sent one off today, but with the remote, shouldn't hang about. Never do. You've got a little mini River Island leather jacket. How cute is that? New tags, £35. Look at that. River Island do do really nice baby clothes. Sorry, I, I, you know when you know, no, you know when people do TikToks and they throw stuff on them. I was, I was just, I was just expected to like, I was expecting it to just fall on me like. No. It's cute anyway. Fat face. Pinafore, button up, Sand denim, pen. cotton. And denim, cotton. Memory foam V-shaped pillow cover. Denim. Charlotte's got a nice V-shaped pillow. It's just annoying. It takes up so much room. We have found a jungle <laughs> skog. A jungle skog out in the wild. As you can see, that is what a jungle skog is. Ikea jungle skog. Jungle skog. So the pandas we get are jungle skogs as well. Uh, this one's a snake. You can get 15 to 20 pound. But um, we unfortunately, paid. we paid a pound. He's staying with me. So that was John Luke's new car boot attire. Adult monkey costume. That was 22 pound retail. They, I always sell costumes. You know that. I've mentioned it before. Yeah. So, yeah. Little bundle of monsoon baby tights. So yeah. quite a few pairs of them. And, and they're six pounds each. So. So I'll bundle them up, do them together, some are different ages, so the ones that match will be put together. Yeah, even if someone's got a baby, right, and they're not six months, and they're different sizes, yeah, you just exactly. think, you know what, I'll buy them all, and then when she grows out of them, bang, we've got another pair. To be fair, nowadays you get chonky babies, don't you? Yeah. So like, like they end up fitting like stuff that's wealthy. Little candle set, sanctuary, spa, covent garden. So you've got a bundle of six there, in the exactly. little basket, Yeah. or a basket. What you would say? That smells beautiful, that. <gasps> don't need to sniff it so loud and inappropriately. I'm joking. That is nice. And that? Oh, that's nice. You'll like that one. <gasps> you had in my ears! So, happy birthday, mm -hmm. Miss Jen. Nice little basket to go with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little fine little basket. Anyway, still a day in the life. So, you know, at this point in the day, I ship Charlotte back up to her room. Yet! <laughs> uh, then she goes to the kitchen and she makes dinner. Which John Luke will show you? Um, yeah, so we have in chicken goujons today. You're not, she doesn't like chicken, but I am. And Don't come for me in the, in the comments. I'm scared of birds. I will not eat a chicken, okay? Because I feel She's scared. beef, but not chicken. Anyway, I thought it's cow that you Yeah, don't I like. don't like it when John Luke says you're eating cow. I go, it's beef. Anyway, so these are from the Gusto box as well. So get involved with the Gusto. There's a link down below. It's like £10.90. You get five meals. Five evening meals. How much is on that uh, snake you've got there? Yeah, so this has got to be dealt with. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of getting another rack, maybe having it outwards, you know. But you know, I'm just trying to, you know, no, 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 I've got my row. I'm, I'm just let me spitball. Do you know what I mean? Is that, is that, is that a thing? That I don't know, spitball, anyways. Yeah, I'm getting an Amazon box ready and all the other stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. We had rain today. It's like what six o'clock now. Me, show me, show them what I'm doing. I'm constantly on the videos. On a lean. She's I'm always always leaning. on a lean. Um, it's six o'clock now. Been going since nine. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, not even thought about listening to anything yet. It's just um chaos. Being being back off holiday, it's just one of them things. Clearing orders up, you know, filming it, sourcing it, loving it. You're prioritizing content. So if you are liking the video. Like it. So we're putting a bit of an Amazon box together. So we've got that like, used book, got a few DVDs and whatnot down there, the Schleck stuff. So some of the new stuff that we've been buying at the car boot and the charity shops going off to Amazon, which is good. Just check that is a full set of eight. So we'll get that up on eBay. I could do them individually on Amazon, but I just thought I'd send the sealed one off there. Nice little listing for eBay, that one. These little few bits and bobs now will clear the floor. Try and stack them high somewhere just because I need to clear the space for tomorrow for the special guest. Any guesses down below? Who's the guest? I'm not sure if you'll know by the time this video comes out, but... So, in the Mystery Parcel video uh, that we did with you guys, I did say I was going to give this Charlton mug away. So, we have found a new home for this. Uh, this will be sent this week. And then the Everton jacket as well. We found a new home for that. So, that'll be sent this week as well. So, uh, yeah, thank you for reaching out. We've rehomed some of the items. Shout out to you guys, because that was such a fun video to do. And, yeah, we're paying it forward. So, I just fiddled that shelf around there. Most of this stuff there, I'll just slot in there. So, got to get these England shirts packed away for the Euros. Got a couple more bits sorted for the Amazon box. Just had a sale, £21 for the Daenerys pop vinyl. 
the pop rides is in here somewhere just packed it away before so that's a nice little sale i've got next level resell up here which is the discord i'm part of which is kind of getting me underway with amazon helping me along the way teaching me the ropes currently got an accountancy call on at the minute so basically in the accountancy call the uh they have an accountant in there and gets you going with the uh, accounting side of stuff which is cool if you was interested in getting involved with amazon booting it all up just like i am there's a link down below to the discord group the link and the codes there you use the code you get a 10 off your first month see what it's all about but um yeah i'm enjoying it so far i'll enjoy it a lot more once all of these are out of the garage as well right so i've left the place in fairly good shape still a few hours work to do tomorrow but this is as good as it's going to get tonight got a nice bit of floor space that's the amazon box that's pending so you know imagine that disappears i mean we've got a nice bit of space obviously we need a little bit more tidy around the edges and all that good stuff i know that but good progress today it's looking a lot better for the special occasion tomorrow and on that note i'll close it out it's seven o'clock now it's time for me to eat so i've been at it like half eight till seven long ass day lots done lots still to do so it's, it's a work in progress at the minute but we've got a big day tomorrow Something special going down, so you'll get updated on that in the future. But it has been a pleasure to do a day in the life today. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment. You know, if you want to win the Matthew McConaughey, but leave a nice comment. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. There's loads of links down below, like we say. Amazon links, everything I use in my business. Facebook groups, eBay stores, Instagram pages, Gusto, food, lots of it. Anyway, I love you and leave you. Take care, everyone. Keep smashing it, and I'll see you next time.